Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. This is my 90s Time Traveler Discoverers Meta's Threads app. I have no idea what that app does, so maybe he can explain it to me. It's the 90s. The year is 1997. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with our time traveling reporter who's reporting live from the year 2023. Hi there. Hello. Terrible to be here. I'd love to come back to the 90s right away. Please. <laughs> time machine's broken. Shut up about that now. But things can't be so bad in the future, can they? So much of Canada's burning that New York keeps turning orange. Nice <laughs> try. I know it's still from Blade Runner when I see one. No, it's from very recently. People share those pictures on the internet and then go back to work and breathing in smoke and whatnot. Jeez, why doesn't the government make everyone wear masks? I do not think that would be well received. Okay, so what else is going on in the future besides the, you know, real life sepia tones? Oh, well, the fastest growing app ever just came out. Are you talking about unlimited breadsticks at Olive Garden? Because I feel like those have been around since like the 80s. No, no, no. See, Meta launched a new social media app called Threads. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't understand m most of the words you just said. Okay, so there's this company in the future called Meta, right? And they used to be called Facebook, but then they were too sketchy, so they changed their name to Meta, and now they own Facebook. Which is somehow better. Somehow, <laughs> I guess, yeah. And these sketchy people started this Threads clothing line. It's actually an app that you use on your information rectangle to share mostly text-based things. So like a Microsoft Word document that people email to each other. No, it's an information rectangle software that you share text and pictures and videos and things. Well, wait, that sounds like that other thing you've mentioned in a previous episode. What was it? Twat? Not that's not what it's called. I know. What? What was it? Twat. Okay, that's rude. It's called Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, that's the one. You know, if you keep being rude to me, I'm gonna try even less hard to stop you from dying in 2004. Wait, what? So what happened was this super rich guy Elon Musk bought Twitter, right? Oh yeah, I remember in a previous episode you said he's the guy who's impregnating everybody. Right, and so since he's purchased Twitter, people think it's become just terrible. How did they think it was before he bought it? Just terrible. And remind me what Twitter's used for again? It's a thing where people go and get angry and argue with people. Right, right, right. Why would anyone use that ever? To get angry and argue with people. Okay. But Mr. Musk <laughs> made some big changes. Like what? Firing everybody. <laughs> oh my god. He also brought back people who had been banned, like a former U.S. president with a broken caps lock key. What? There was also this thing where certain people had blue check marks next to their names if they were considered, you know, of note. But now Elon Musk is like, if you pay me, you get one. That's how it works now. I changed it. These little blue things, those are important to people in the future? Super important little blue things, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah, weird priorities in the future. Also seems like he's limited the number of angry messages or tweets you can see in a day if you're not paying him. And so people aren't happy about these changes. Not really, and seemingly to capitalize on that, Mark Zuckerberg, the head of Meta, did a little copy-pasting and launched Threads. Which is Twitter, but it's not. Exactly, so like a hundred million people signed up for Threads in its first few days because it's not a toxic cesspool like Twitter. Oh, it isn't? No, it'll probably take a week or so to get to that point. <laughs> Got it. And so people trust this Mark Zuckerberg guy now? For some reason, suddenly they seem to, despite all the glaring privacy issues, even within threads. Huh. It seems like maybe it's a lesser of two evils situation, but now Elon Musk is mad. <laughs> I'd imagine he would be. So what's he thinking? Like a lawsuit? He is considering that. Well, good to know that in the future there's still legal infrastructure for corporate disagreements. Yeah, he also called Mark Zuckerberg a cuck and said they should compare penis sizes. Ooh. What? Also, maybe Maybe they're gonna fight. Seriously? Yeah, there's some talk that these two big old billionaires might fight each other mixed martial arts style in a cage match or something. <laughs> So the future is pretty dumb, huh? Oh, yeah, everything's real dumb around here. Yeah, please send me home to the 90s. Well, at least if things don't go well for Elon Musk, he can just resell Twitter and make his money back. He paid $44 billion for it, and it's currently worth about a third of that. Oh, holy sh- <laughs> Oh, goodness. The world barely needs Twitter, and it certainly doesn't need any Twitter clones. <laughs> well, that was my reaction. Like, button, subscribe, comment, share, or whatever social media platform you want. Find inspiration everywhere.